very good morning students uh, very good morning to one and all yesterday we discussed about uh, the basics of uh, consumer behavior and uh, different uh, models of consumer behavior three to four uh, models of consumer behavior buying patterns of a consumer behaviors in the last class we discussed thoroughly today we are going to be having going in depth a detail of a consumer behavior may call it as a determinants of a consumer behavior it is there in a block 2 and the unit 6 see here what exactly a uh, determinants of a consumer behavior it is we're going to be call it as a, a behavior i mean to say that the consumer behavior is vitally for business to effectively reach their audience it evolves studying how individuals or a group choose and use product to satisfy their individual or a family needs key determinants of consumer behavior includes again culture social personal and psychological factors by analyzing these influences business can tailor their marketing strategies advertisement to better meet consumer needs and uh, wants or may call it as a uh, preferences consumer relevant reference groups may call it as a uh, one is a uh, primary groups which includes a uh, family friends secondary groups which includes professional association culture uh, may call it as a uh, clubs and a uh, organization what is will going to be called as a professional association group related to one's occupations or a professions can influence buying beer for example uh, where i am working in the organization my uh, colleagues will going to be influencing on me or a uh, buying a particular product second one is clubs and organization social recreation clubs and interest based clubs can affect uh, consumer preferences and the decisions third is will going to be called it as a aspirational groups what exactly aspiration groups will going to be called it as a celebrities and influencers we call it as a, those what we are going to be seeing in the advertisement okay celebrities will going to be called as a kind of a brand ambassadors about the particular brands we are going to be influencing because of the celebrities we are going to be buying the product not all the times but sometimes next successful individuals people who have achieved a certain status or a success can serve a aspirational reference a point take an example of a sachin tendulkar take an example of a, any other successful cricketers that we are going to be having a call it as a successful in the individuals fourth one is will going to be called as a disassociate disassociative groups what is that group to avoid this is also will going to be a influence one of the factors what is that consumer may avoid products or a particular brand associated with the groups they do not wish to be identified with negative reference groups have an inverse influence on a consumer behavior how much we are going to be avoiding that much sometimes we are going to be planning to buy a product next one is fifth we'll going to be call it as a membership groups what is a membership groups formal memberships consumers are influenced by groups they are formally belongs to a such professional bodies or a any kind of a clubs second, second one is here informational not informational it is a informal memberships informal groups like a friends circles and a social networks also affect the consumer a behavior next uh, a concept in this determinants of a consumer behavior is relevant reference groups uh, opinion leader what is that opinion leader plays a significant or a prominent role in consumer behavior by influencing purchasing decisions through their expertise and credibility they are individuals 
whom others consult for advice or information about a product particularly in specific categories where the opinion leader has established a knowledge for example if i am having or if you anybody having specialized knowledge in a particular product or a services some people or your reference groups or your colleagues or your friends they will ask about a particular product and uh, we are or you people are may call it as a opinion a leaders what are the characteristics of a opinion leaders one is expertized a particular person will be going to be expertized we call it is the credibility mean, mean to say that credibility and a trustworthiness consumer often regard the opinions of these leaders are more reliable than traditional advertising more than the advertising today the people are going to be making the purchasing the product with the credibility of a opinion leaders next one is interpersonal communications interpersonal communications may call it as a facilitate word of mouth of communications when i am going to be communicating a particular product with the someone family members groups other colleagues with the word of mouth i, I may say this particular product is fantastic extraordinary good then again it is go, go to a kind of a word of mouth may call it as interpersonal communications that it makes to a company to sell most and more product in a market so that is why will going to be called as a interpersonal communications family decision making and consumption related roles what is this family decision making in consumer behaviors involves various roles that is a family members play a during the purchasing process understanding this role is essential for marketing aiming to effectively target family units so what are those here we'll going to be call it as a influencers who are those influencers the family members who provide informations about opinions that can guide the decision of a others I mean to say that they may not have a finally say but can significantly affect the preference and choice of other family members in a family members they will say this product is good but while saying that product is good uh, other family members may not buy but significantly it will going to be play a vital role of a purchasing a particular product or a services second will going to be called as a gatekeepers who are the gatekeepers this roles involves controlling the flow of information about product and services into the family gatekeepers filter the information that reaches other members influencing what opinion is going to be considered it mean to say that with a bunch of informations they will going to be filter the informations and the what exactly it is needed to the family they will going to make a filter and they are going to be sent to the family members again this is also play a role to buy a particular product or not mean to say that to purchase a product or to reject the product or services next one is deciders so these deciders have authority to make a final decisions on whether to purchase a product or a services yes or no to buy a product or a no this role can be held by one person or shared among multiple families not only a single person or in the entire family they are going to be taking a decisions the last next one is will going to be called as a is a not a last next one will going to be called as a buyers buyers are the family members who actually makes the purchase this role may differ from the decider especially in case where someone else has the authority to choose but other person execute the transactions it mean to say that the clearly says that where someone else has the authority to choose but other person execute the transactions the next fifth point will going to be called as a preparers the family members prepare the product for use I mean to say that ready to use for example they may set up a new appliances or a cook a meal ensuring that the product is 
ready for the consumption, ready for the utilization. Next one is users. Users are the family members who ultimately consume or utilize the product. Their preference and satisfaction level can influence future purchasing decisions. I mean to say that here one or two people they are buying, but the users are number of users. I mean to say that in a family seven to eight members, two to three members, five to six members, all people are going to be called it as a users that it is going to be influences from word of mouth. If the product or the services is good for the word of mouth, informations will go out. A product is good, extraordinary. The next is maintainers. We call it as uh, this role involves upkeep, the servicing of a product or a services. Maintainers ensures that a product function correctly and meet family ongoing requirements or the needs. Disposers, disposers handle the disposal of a product that are no longer is going to be needed by the a particular person or the entire family members. This role is often overlooked, but it is a uh, crucial in the life cycle of a consumer a goods. The next one is a family life cycle and the its impact. How the entire family life cycle it is going to be run and how it is going to be impact in the buying of a product. There are different stages. A bit stages we discussed in the previous classes also, but in depth in this particular classes we are going to be discussing a stages of the family life cycle. Number one is bachelor stage. It is a person is independent. That time his preferences are focusing focusing on a personal needs like a technology, like a entertainment, like a social activities. When it goes to a person bachelors to the newly marriage again his preferences his needs his wants will going to be get changes that is household purchasing furniture appliances and a planning planning for a family. Here when it's become a young children couples that young children buying a baby and children related products focusing on a family oriented activities and may most and more they are going to be uh, concentrating on a home improvement. The second st stage to the children to a teenagers with this spending on education, extracurricular activities and the teenage specific product they are going to be spending most and more. Third stage is we are going to be call it as a couple with adult children having a home downsizing their investment in personal interest and the preparing for their retirement levels. The post parental stage couples whose children have left home but are still in the workplace traveling, pursuing leisure activities and exploring personal hobbies. So these are the things last one is we are going to be called as a retirement. The retirement couples focusing on a health related activities post retirement they are going to be planning about the health of uh, they are going to be most and more focusing on a health related activities they are going to be investing money time all those things these things next a concept we are going to be discussing in this particular classes call it as the social classes and a consumer behavior what exactly this social class and a consumer behavior Social class significantly influence consumer behavior, saving preference, purchasing decisions, brand loyalty. It means to say that social classes which is going to be influencing on a specific customer or a group of customer or in a any customers with the saving preference, purchasing decision and the brand loyalty. Understanding this connection between social class and a consumer behavior is essential for marketers aiming to effectively target their audience. Look here influence on a purchase decision brand preference. For example, if you are having a specific to buy a product on a specific a brand. So that 
will going to be buy only at that particular brand because we are well connected with the particular brand a product or a services the next we'll going to be call it as a product point number 2 product choice the types of a product purchased vary by a social classes that is high social classes typically have a mean to buy a high quality of product middle classes they are going to be having a middle lower classes they are going to be focusing on again the lower so these three categories which are going to be influences on a social classes while buying the product or a services third is we will going to be call it as a shopping a behavior social classes influences shopping habits including store preferences higher social classes may prefer boutique stores online shopping the middle and lower classes sometimes they may go but most of the times they are not going to be prefer these things how exactly it is influencing a culture on a consumer behavior I mean to say that a particular culture of a person or a family how exactly it is going to be influencing on a consumer behavior culture significantly influence consumer behavior shaping preference purchasing decision and overall consumption patterns about the family or a person I mean to say that i am belongs i am following a x culture that culture which is going to be influencing on buying the product or a services what are those we call it as the culture norms and a values what is that consumer encompasses the shared beliefs values and practices of a groups which dedicate what is considered acceptable or desirable it mean to say that if i am going to be too much uh, you know i may call it as a comfortable with the eco friendly it is my kind of a culture then i am going to be purchasing only a eco friendly a product the second one is will going to be call it as a sub cultures so in the sub cultures will going to be call it as a the large culture sub cultures based on the factors like religion geography or ethnicity can create distinct consumer the behavior so here mean to say that we can for instance religious differences in india lead to varying food preferences for example a person from come from a tamil nadu his food preferences is different a person come from andhra pradesh food preferences is different a persons like me coming from a karnataka again food preferences is different will going to be called as a subcultures third one is will going to be called as a social classes what exactly it is going to be call it as a social classes mean to say that social class influenced by culture factors affect consumer behavior mean to say that there are three category generally we we decided top consumer middle consumer lower consumer we mean to say that class 1 class 2 class 3 so these three things again based on the classes people are going to be buying the a uh, product people are going to be purchasing the uh, product or a uh, services it mean to say that based on the income the third one is consumer identity and a uh, self expressions me me to say that product often serve as a extension of cultural identity consumer choose a brand that re resonate with their culture values or allow them to express their identity when a people are going to be buying a good amount of a brand product or a, it mean to say that it shows a kind of a, not exactly a culture it is a kind of a cultures which is going to be they are going to be representing the last point is perception and the inter perceptions what is that we will going to be call it as a perceptions and the inter perceptions mean to say that culture background shapes how consumers perceive advertisement product and pricing understanding these cultures nuisance allows market to develop campaigns and that resonate with the local audience enhancing the effectiveness of their messaging it mean to say that when the company is giving an advertisement how a individual customer or a family is going to be perceiving that advertisement again if the product is good or bad if the product is good 
sometimes it may succeed or may not succeed because how I am going to be pursuing the product that it says perception and interperception about the product or a services. The next uh, concept is cross cultural context. What is cross cultural context? Cross cultural context has a significant impact on a consumer behavior, shaping preference, purchasing decision and overall consumption pattern of an individual or a entire family. It includes value, norms, traditions vary across countries and religions leading to a distant consumer behaviors. What exactly this see here key ways cross cultural context influencing consumer behavior. Number one is cultural values. What is a cultural values? It means to say that cultural prioritized groups harmony while individualist culture emphasizing on on a personal expressions. It means to say that the culture of the family which is going to be influencing. Second one is norms and tradition. It means to say that a kind of a norms and traditions mean to say that for example, we can quote here the number of four, one, two, three, four, four is considered unlucky in Japan. See, norms and the traditions which are going to be practicing in a Japan, four number is a unlucky for entire Japani people. But in India, it is not like that. But in other country, sometimes may or may not. Like that, the norms and the tradition of a each and individual uh, countries which is going to be various. Why I am going to be quoting this particular example? When we are going to be starting our businesses in outside the country, when we are going to be using this four, I mean to say that when we are going to be starting businesses in Japan, when we are going to be using a four in a Japan, it is kind of a, a bad message which is going to be going because people are going to be considering it is a unlucky. Then sometimes the product may not succeed in a market. Next one is lifestyle and a psychographics. What is that life cycle? See, when a McDonald is came in into India, it is not succeeded because Indian people are going to be having a most and more vegetarian people. Cross cultural variations, lifestyles and a psychographic like vegetarianism in India, especially the 80% of the people are going to be preferring the vegetarian food. So initially McDonald's not succeeded. Then it is a took as example McDonald's introduced vegetarian burger with Indian spices to create the market. So that is very very important to understand the consumer behavior. Only if they are going to be starting, only if they are going to be running a businesses, a call it as a uh, McDonald's with the non-vegetarian, it may not succeed. But they started with the vegetarian burgers. People are going and its business got a uh, succeeded. Next one is we're going to be called as a demographic. What is here? Difference in age, gender, religion, social class, and income across cultures influences consumer behavior. For example, gender roles, expectations very culturally impacting a purchasing decisions. It means to say based on the demographic differences in age, gender, male or female, religion, varieties of religions, the social classes, high level, middle level, low level. So all these factors which are going to be influencing on a, these things. Okay. Next concept we are going to be concentrating is a diffusion of innovations. What is this? The diffusion of innovations is a theory that explains how new idea, product or technology spread within and across a culture. Understanding this process crucial for a marketers and a business aiming to introduce innovations effectively diverse market. Key concept of deficiency of innovations. One is number one is we're going to be called as a innovation. What is the innovations will tell or explains? An idea, practice, or an object pursued a new by an individual or other unit of adoption. Innovation can be a product, a service, or it is kind of a process. 
not only it is a product, not only it is a services, not only it is a process, sometimes it may be a involve of all these three or sometimes it may be a one. Communications channel, what is a communications channel? It is innovation is a transmitted, I mean to say that which information about the innovation is transmitted. This includes mass media, social networks, personal interactions, how this innovations is going to be communicated with the market, with the societies, with we call it as a mass media, social networks and the through the personal interactions also. Third one is will going to be called as a social system. What is the social system? Uh, individuals or organizations that adopt the innovations, the characteristics of the social system such as norms, values, influence how quickly and widely innovations will going to be adopted. Take an example of a digital watches, now it is a trend in, in, in a market. So, people are accepted and product got succeeded, so many companies are uh, producing the product and it is going well in a market, mean to say that widely an innovation is going to be adopted and accepted by the uh, consumers, we call it as a adopter categories. Individuals are categorized based on their willingness to adopt uh, innovations, we call it as the innovators, the first to adopt an innovations often we call it as a risk takers, we call it as a risk takers. Who are the early adopters? Opinion leaders who adopt early but are more cautious than innovators. Third one is early majority, individuals who adopt innovations after seeing evidence of its benefit. It means to say that a person can purchase a product only my friend, my colleagues, my family members after purchasing that if it is got succeeded, if it is got good result then only I am going to be purchasing. Late majorities, spectacle individuals who adopt only after the majority has done so, mean to say that if the mass number of consumers are purchasing, then only I am going to be preferring to buying the product of a, a succeeded product. The last one is, the last to adopt often resistance to a change. Some people are there, whether the product is succeed or not, they are not going to be moving to buying the particular product. So, this is what we will going to be call it as a the diffusion and adoption uh, process. How the diffusion and adoption process will go? One is innovation, relatively advantages, compatibility and the complexity. So, what is innovations? Innovation can be defined as a kind of a idea, practice, object that is pursued a new. This characteristics of innovation significantly impact on a rate of adoptions. So, like that only relative advantage, compatibility and the complexity. The next is tribality, observability. So, like this it will go. The second point is explains the communication channel. This means by which information about the innovation is going to be transmitted either the phone or the advertisement or the word of mouth or whatever it may be. Mass media can create awareness while interpersonal channels, what I said interpersonal communications to the word of mouth like that various channels are there. Next one is we are going to be called as a social system. What is that social system? The social structure within which the diffusion occurs, the norms, values and the social networks of a community can significantly influence the adoption process. Individual often rely on a peers and a social leaders for guidance on new innovations. It means to say that when I am going to be having a money, immediately I will not go and buy a particular product or if you are having a money, you will not going to be going to buy a product. What you will do? You will going to be do a kind of exercise, you will ask your friends, relatives or other people, those who are going to be already purchased the product or services. Then if they give a good amount of a rating, then only you are going to be planning to buy a specific product or the services. Next is we are going to be called as the time. The diffusion process unfolds over time and involves the several stages. What is that? Knowledge, decision, implementation and at last 
we are going to be call it as a confirmations. Here consumer innovativeness and a personal traits. What is that? Consumer innovativeness refers to the tendency of individuals to adopt new products, ideas, technologies earlier than others. So, this trait is closely linked to various personality characters influencing how consumers engage with innovations and their overall purchasing behavior about a product or a services. So, this is key personality trait influencing consumer innovations. What is that? Openness to exp experience, uh, continuous, third one is extroversion and agreeableness. So, these are the four important uh, concept which explains about the key personality trait influencing consumer innovativeness. Thank you.